Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. What this happened? Um, anyways, today we're going to today we're gonna be seeing how many like what what it would look like from different moods perspectives. So let's get straight into it without any intro. You know? So first we have the moon. I'm not sure if you can see it, it's right up where my camera, where my mouse is right there. You can probably see it, but anyways. Now let's see. Could you see some of Pluto's moons here? Um, so to get, to get Pluto's moons, we're gonna make a new simulation. Uh, get Pluto. Pluto with all of its not a random elliptical galaxy. Pluto with all of its moons. Oh my god. Okay. And we're gonna see how the orbits pretty circular so nothing too bad will happen. And now we replace object with the Earth. We will do that. to everything we will auto orbit. Um, sure, kind of looks like one of those gyroscope things, you know, those like little gyroscope things that kind of look like awesome orbital paths. But anyways, let's see. Whoops. Um, that wasn't meant to happen. So, reload that simulation real quick. Did we had to play the simulation before doing all that? All right, Pluto. Now with all the submit, right? Yeah. Now we. Replace object with the earth, replace. Alright, now everything here needs to. No, no, no. Yeah. Delete the earth. Auto orbit. Right. Auto orbit. No need to automatic. No need to auto orbit these one at a time. The auto. Nothing. Okay. Uh, zero. Okay. Oh. No. What's this gonna work? We're gonna have to do that. It's not going to be completely circular, but we'll have to do with it because apparently it just doesn't. The Earth just doesn't like Pluto's moons. Pluto has five moons, and all those moons have. So t technically, Pluto has more moons than the whole inner solar system combined. It is. It is pretty obvious though because it's in the Kuiper Belt, so there's a lot of stuff in the Kuiper Belt. Anyways, I think that's about as straight as I can, as I can get it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, first we need to move Caron and the other moons out to here. Yeah. How well would we be able to see it? I keep on hitting V instead of C, why? That is really clear in the sky. Wow, it's a lot bigger than our moon. Oh yeah, it's 
still does look like a gyroscope. Anyways, let's let's use our delete that. All right, now we do. Let's see, Mars's moons. Yeah. All right. Now we replace with Earth. There we go. Oh wow, Phobos is gonna be in trouble. <laughs> uh, motion. Gotta slow it down a lot. Alright, that's going in completely. Um, auto orbit? Does that work? Absolutely not. It does not work. Has auto orbit been broken? Like, if you just add something that's still here. Like the moon, and we click auto orbit. That works, but apparently Phobos and Deimos don't. Um, auto orbit. Zero velocity auto orbit. Nope, it's still. Okay. Alright, that's good as well. Alright, now we will see if we can see these um, asteroids in the sky. So it's landing. What? Um, okay. Let's land on Earth. No, not land. Is that Phobos? Yeah, that is Phobos. Yeah, you can see it pretty clearly. That's cool. So if we had Phobos at our, as our moon, and let's see what it would look like. <laughs> oh, I love textures. Let's try to land in, on that. Can we go inside that thing? Can we go inside that little crevice? No, we can't. Okay. Um, this isn't really a crevice. It's actually... Oh wow, that would look insane. Imagine this in Space Engine. If Space Engine and Universe Sandbox combined, it would be the greatest space game of all time. Nothing could compete with it for the next like five years at least. Like, with Space Engine's graphics, which would definitely help, and Universe Sandbox's physics, we could probably, you know, could probably create some insane stuff. Okay, now let's, now that we've done these small planets, let's not move on to the big planets because there'd be too much to, you know. Let's move on to um, Apocalypse Earth. I hit the earth with the moon, and you know. All right. Let's see. Let's uh, move that out there. Where it won't. Um, let's auto orbit that. Will this work? Auto orbit. Okay. Fine. I don't really care. All right. Is this, is this original Earth? Yes, it is. And let's see what it would look like. Let's say we are in China again, because that was just the best placed thing. Okay. Apocalypse Earth is going to show up soon. Or is it? Nope, wrong side of the planet. Um, let's go to... The US then. It's pause time. Do we see Apocalypse Earth in the sky? That would honestly look kind of cool. Just look at that. It would just be in the sky. That's insane.
with it set. Oh wow, that would be quite the sight, quite the sight to see indeed. And it's gone, but it will come back another day. New and bright. Where did it go? Okay, it's up there. Oh, that's so beautiful. Let's make that my... Is it F12 for screenshot? Yeah, it is. Okay. Screenshot taken. Let's try to get another one. Let's do that again. And now let's get off the planet and you know, see the see them actually come close together. Collided the moon with the earth for this one and worked out pretty well, I guess. That really did well. Should have made that a video, actually. Let's do it like. So just accidental. Just find them one day. See what it looks like. Oh, at night this thing will shine. Not in the middle of the day. Imagine the daily eclipses with this. Let's go to where I live, around Australia-ish. Somewhere in Australia. Just look at that. It's so cool. Just seeing that neon thing in the sky. Right, next object. I'm probably running out of time now. New object, ghost planet. What is this? Um, it is smoking up. That's what. That's what it is. Um, is it probably destroy Earth? But hey, who knows? Might actually look kind of cool. Where is it? Where's fast one? There. Right. You can see it. That's a good sign. But geez, it is fast. Okay, that moves through the sky really fast. Let's go to Brazil. Off the coast of Brazil. Um, what would you see? Oh wow, it's still going really fast. But if we just go up and make our way to fast by. You can see that it is um, 
just a ghost. There's nothing, there's no planet, it's just a ghost. But if we take down this temperature, it becomes the next object. Absolutely nothing. Just nothing. This is Mars as well. What? What? Why, did... Why is nothing Mars? Why does Mars count as nothing? Does it have like something special that happens when it cools down? Whoops. 